What's up everyone? Welcome to the RA Visuals YouTube channel for an exclusive embargo lift day tech video. That's right, we were able to get in on the action with the just released glorious Model I gaming mouse that I have here thanks to an awesome company from Canada called One of Zero. One of Zero is an official distributor of glorious products among many other things like customizable keyboards, headsets, in-ear monitors, desk pads, you guys get the idea. Anyway, we'll talk more about them later in the video, but for now, let's get straight into the unboxing of the Model I and see what it has to offer. Getting the box open, you of course get the glorious Model I wired mouse with an attached 6.5 foot paracord ascended cable using a USB 2.0 connection. There will also be a wireless version coming out sometime, but as of right now, we don't really know when that'll be. Now the Model I will come in both matte white and matte black with a glossy version coming sometime later too, again, I don't know when that's gonna be. Other than the mouse, the box has your usual documentation in it, but this next part is a little bit different because this mouse comes with a couple of sets of extra side buttons because two of those side buttons are actually magnetic and they can be replaced and interchanged with different shapes. More on that in a little bit. The Model I is the first wired mouse from Glorious to feature hardware upgrades that have previously only been found on their newer wireless mice they've been coming out with, kind of like the Model O that I have here that I, uh, I have owned for quite a while and I actually reviewed it on the channel and I absolutely love this thing. Similar to the Model O I just mentioned, the Model I features the full range of 16.8 million colors of RGB lighting with eight different lighting effects. The Model I also features Glorious's BAMF sensor that was made in collaboration with PixArt and is what is found in all of their top performing gaming mice as well. This sensor helps the Model I achieve a max DPI of 19,000. Not, again, not sure who needs that. But anyway, a max tracking speed of 400 IPS and up to 1000 Hertz polling rate. Taking a look at the build of the Model I, it sports what is probably a very familiar shape to some of you. Yes, it looks very similar to the Logitech G502, one of the world's best-selling gaming mice. So obviously, the folks over at Glorious want to cash in on this very popular shape by adding their own tech and, most notably, taking some weight off of it, shaving the Model I down to only 69 grams. Huh. I feel like the Model O wireless I reviewed was the same weight. I wonder why they like that number so much. Hmm. 69. <laughs> Jokes aside, the mouse feels great in your hand and seems to be a great fit for medium to large size hands. Here's what my hand looks like right here so you guys can get an idea. Um, yeah, I don't know if this helps, but that's what my hand looks like. The body of the mouse has the usual glorious honeycomb cutouts, which help it achieve that target weight. And it also helps your palms breathe a little bit, so uh, you're not like Eminem getting your palms so sweaty all the time during gaming sessions. Moving up on the mouse, the left and right click feature glorious switches that were made in collaboration with Kale. You ever heard of them? Yeah, they make some pretty awesome switches that I usually put in my keyboards that I have all around my office. Um, so anyway, these guys are actually rated for 80 million clicks and they sound a little something like this. A couple of huge new features in the Model I, not found in other glorious mice, is the new range of buttons across the mouse. You have your left and right clicks and scroll wheel click as usual, but Glorious have added a few new things to make the Model I unique. They have now added a second DPI adjustment button, so you can actually increase and decrease your DPI by simply pressing the button up or down. And your DPI is also indicated on the bottom of the mouse by a little LED light that changes different colors for you. Now normally you would see two side buttons on a typical Glorious mouse, but this time they have added four of them. And additionally, the large front button and the furthest back button can also be easily removed and swapped out, each with three different options included in the box. So now this is a very welcome addition as customization is a huge thing when it comes to gaming peripherals right now. I can attest to this because pretty much everything I have in my office is customizable. So uh, the only thing I wanna you know, kinda add here is, I'm not sure why they made only two buttons adjustable and just not all four. I don't know, maybe there's a reason for it. Either way, all these buttons are fully remappable within the Glorious Core software and offer a huge amount of functionality not possible with any previous Glorious mouse. And here's a quick sound test of what all the buttons sound like. Mm -hmm. 
Now flipping the Model I over, you get a look at the BAMP sensor we talked about earlier and the DPI color LED as well. And finally, we get a look at the pure PTFE G skates that help this thing glide over your chosen surface. And now one fun thing of note, I feel like they may have saw my review of the uh, the Model O that I did, or maybe somebody else did this too, um, but they now have a little reminder on the plastic covers that come on the bottom of the skates. Now this helps new users know that you need to take those little pieces of plastic off before using the mouse or it will not function properly. Now I had a lot of fun with this when I originally had the Model O because I had no idea and I started playing games with those little pieces of plastic on and yeah, it didn't go well. So so thank you very much, Glorious, for listening to me. So now that you've seen everything the Model O has going for it, let me tell you what I think is the most attractive part of the whole mouse besides this really cool shape it has. It's price. The Model I is coming into the market at only $59.99, which is a price point that seems very familiar to me and probably to you as well when it comes to a performance-oriented gaming mouse that is wired. Um, and this mouse shape seems to be very popular as multiple companies have their own spin-off or copy of this style, including the Logitech G502 like we talked about in the beginning of the video, uh, the Razer Basilisk V1, 2, and 3, and even Amazon now has their own Amazon Basics version that once again shares the same shape as all of these mice. And now all of these mice seem to be in the same price bracket as well. Even the Amazon Basics mouse, which like actually is kind of more expensive than some of these. I mean, like, come on guys, really? So in my own opinion, guys, I've been using this mouse for the better part of a month now. So this is the black version. I have the white one on my desk. That's what I've been using with my gaming machine for a little while. And I have to say, I really do enjoy this shape they got right here. Uh, I'm a big fan of the ergo shapes with mice. And you know, with this included little side rest for your thumb right here, it honestly just makes it even better in my opinion. So, you know, to get around the fact that the mouse is not wireless, I simply paired it with the Glorious Mouse Spongy, which I grabbed for super cheap because you can find them really cheap these days. And I honestly, when I play with it, I don't even notice that there's a cable there because it does such a good job of just like keeping it out of the way while you're playing. All right, so while writing this review, I was trying to be super critical of this mouse right here, but to be honest with you guys, you know, I, I can't really find very many cons with it. Uh, I mean, maybe it's because it's wired and not wireless. Maybe that's all I can say, but I mean, a wireless version is coming. Um, but maybe the side buttons are a little hard to get off. I don't know. Other than that, guys, that's really it. It's a great mouse. I can see why, you know, so many companies, including Glorious now, have been so successful uh, with this shape. And I bet Glorious is going to be now too, because it feels great. Uh, when I'm gaming and everything like that, I love it. So. You know, I think Glorious found a great situation for themselves, uh, priced it properly, and uh, I think it's gonna be a great thing for them. So that's enough of me jabbering on about this thing. I bet you guys wanna know where you guys can get a copy of this thing, right? Well, in that case, I have two options for you. You guys can go ahead and pick it up at One of Zero, that awesome Canadian company that sent me my two copies of this mouse, or you can go ahead and of course get it at Glorious's website. But of course guys, I'm affiliated with One of Zero, so I have my affiliate link down below, which of course helps support me in the channel and keeps you being able to make videos for you guys. So I'd appreciate it if you guys use that. It's okay if you don't, it's whatever. But anyway, I wanted to get this out of the way. One of Zero is a Canadian company, so they will be pricing this mouse at a different price. It'll look like $79.99 on their site, but that's in Canadian. So in US, it's roughly $63, and they also offer free shipping to North America, and they cover the duties as well, which actually might get you guys the mouse a little bit cheaper because the shipping's free. I don't know if Glorious even offers that. So anyway, check it out, you guys, and see which option works better for you. So that's all there really is to it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed hearing my take on this mouse. I know a bunch of people are gonna have a, a video out on it today, so I'm sorry for bombarding you with another one. But anyway, let me know in the comments below if you guys are considering picking this guy up or if you're simply just gonna wait till the wireless version comes out. So either way, I'd be kind of curious to hear what you guys say. But if you guys enjoyed this video, you guys know what to do, go ahead and give it a like. And if you guys wanna see more of my content and stay up to date on everything that I'm doing, make sure you get subscribed with those notifications on. And guys, have a great day. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.